What's going on guys? Today I'm going to show you how to install these gauges. And this kind of works for any gauge. We have a temperature gauge, oil pressure gauge, and a voltage meter. So these are going to be installed today. I'm going to show you kind of how to do them. Of course, it'll be a little bit different for each motor, but pretty much it's, it's pretty simple. All right, so first off, you want to find out what size fittings are the right one for your application. Uh, for mine, I already know that it's this size. Pretty much this is where the tubing will connect and then run through the firewall there and then to your gauges. Usually the oil pressure sensor is down below the head somewhere. I've got a few options. I have a blocked off one right here and the one that was previously used, you probably can't see it, but it's back here above the uh, oil pump or the oil filter. I always run some Teflon tape on here or paste or even RTV black would be sufficient enough to seal just to make sure that you don't have any leaks. All right, so basically what you wanna do is you wanna take your hose, you wanna slide this little nut over the end of the hose. You're gonna take this little fitting here, this little bell looking fitting, make sure that the part with the lip on the edge there is towards the nut that you just put on. Just try to slide that back as far as you can. And then you're gonna thread this end into the fitting, just like that. And then you're gonna go tighten this down all the way. And this will just thread into the fitting that you just put into your engine block. All right, I got that done. Um, before you put the other fitting on the other side, cause obviously one will go here. What you're gonna do is you're gonna run this through the firewall wherever you can. Um, I usually try to keep it close to where I run my wires through. Just make sure that you have enough tubing to reach where you're gonna have your gauges at. All right, so I've run the tubing back behind the steering column here and I've got plenty of room. I'm gonna be mounting the gauges right up here. All right, so next up, my water temp sensor. The wire was already hooked up to it, so I just ran it through the firewall. Just make sure that you have enough length for where you're gonna mount that. So once I mount it up there, I'll have plenty of room. All right, so the next thing is to find out where your water temp sensor is gonna go. Um, for me, I only was able to use the uh, water pump here. Usually there's some like on the head and on this Y block. The factory one is actually back here behind the intake manifold, but I wasn't able to use that one. So instead I'm having to use the, uh, the water pump here. All right, the last little bit of this is just installing the lights into the back of the gauges. Each one of these takes a bulb. They're pretty straightforward. They just plug straight in. You also want to hook up the oil pressure line. Just put it on the back of the gauge there and tighten it up. All right, as far as the wiring goes, I just kind of make it easy on myself and I just run red to red on all these. And then I run black to black on all these. So that way all of them are powered on at the same time. These are just the lights. So, and then also your uh, voltmeter as long as it's switched on whenever the vehicle's on, then that will be good enough for your voltmeter. And make sure you have really good grounds. I'll go ahead and run through and do that now. So I've got some issues here with clearance. Um, I didn't think about that until 
because third is fine. But once you go to reverse, you have a lot of clearance issues. So I'm just gonna put a little harder bend right here. And then hopefully that should solve all my problems. All right, so everything is wired up now. Let's go ahead and check to see if these gauges are gonna get power. They do. I don't know if you guys can see that. So now it's just time to mount it and then you're done. We are done with that install. The shifter now is clear. It's close, but we're in the reverse there. So I might put a little bit more of a bend just so I don't whack it on accident. All right guys, that's gonna conclude the video for today. Please subscribe and like this. I hope that this helps somebody to figure out how to do those things because I know when you're first getting started, it's kind of hard to even do the simplest thing.